What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today, I'm going to preview the uh, New York Rangers Boston Bruins second round matchup. Uh, it was a wild finish to Game Seven for the Boston Bruins. The Rangers had a little easier, uh, dispatching the Washington Capitals five nothing. King Henrik getting the shout out, the shutout uh, in our nation's capital, which was you know pretty cool to watch. But actually, I did not watch any of that game. Uh, the, as a Bruins fan, I was glued to my TV for Game Seven, and by God, one of the best hockey games I've ever seen. And, um, you know, if I'm John Toy Rowell, I'm looking at that last, you know, 10, 15 minutes of, you know, counting overtime. And the Bruins are going, oh, you know, great. Um, you know, we had a Washington team that laid down and died in two games for us. And then a, a Bruins team that was dead, you know, pretty much been, it was past life support. It was getting ready to go on the ground. Came back and just pummeled the Leafs in the last, you know, five, three, four minutes of the game. And, uh, you know, that's what ultimately got the Bruins, um, you know, to move on. You know, Bergeron coming up clutch twice. You know, really, this team's right in its own script. And uh, this will be the first time they've played each other in the playoffs since the 1973 finals. No no, no player from either team has stolen the team 40 years later. That was a joke for you. People keeping score at home. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a great matchup. King Henrik's one of the best goalies in the league. I think Tuka Rask is one of the... I think Henrik's one of the best... Two gives him that next like echelon. He was not in that you know top three, top four status yet, but he's he's right outside. And uh, you know, goals is gonna be great. Defense is phenomenal. The Rangers play great team defense. And um, you know, I like Ryan McDonough do a great job at stifling Bruins chances throughout the series. I mean, you know, that's, that's part of the course for a guy like him. Um, I'm for Rick Nash to come alive a little bit more against the Bruins than he did against Washington. <laughs> and um, you know, I think that that'll come. That's nothing to be worried about. And then you look at, um, you know, the Bruins forwards. They've got confidence, you know, especially Bergeron. He's playing out of this world. Krejci had 13 points in seven games in the series. Um, you know, those two lines are going to be rolling. McDonough, Girardi, those guys are going to be tasked with, uh, you know, stifling their offensive chances and keeping them off the scoreboard throughout the series. But I think the Rain it's going to be the Bruins in six. The Rangers have plenty of talent. But I just think, you know, it took – they both they're both coming off grueling seven-game series, but – I just got to pick the Bruins. I can't. I can't pick a team against a team that just showed the heart of a champion like that. Now they could lay a stinker in game one at home, or you know whatever. But if they're gonna play with that heart and intensity, you can't beat them. And they won. A, they won a cup two years ago. This core nucleus has won before. You know they are champions. They know what it takes to get over that hump. And uh, maybe the Toronto scaring the shit out of them is the best thing to happen to the team because they're gonna play with that fire and intensity. You know, and they can't take a shift off. Um, you know, against a team like the Rangers, that was the number one team in the East last year for a reason. This year, kind of uh, back into the playoffs with the sixth seed. But you know, I think that um, it's going to be a great series. You know, Boston, New York. You know, Chris Kreider had a pretty good game seven. Um, you know, he's beginning to show the form he showed uh, last year in the playoffs, where he came up big for the Rangers a few times, coming right off the campus of BC to the Stanley Cup playoffs. But um, like I said, I like the Bruins a little bit more. Um, I think just the Daniel Char, those guys. That's actually. The Bruins' Achilles heels defense, Seidenberg, played 37 seconds in Game 7. And um, Ferenc's going to play it all. So you're going to have to put Aaron Johnson in there. And, uh, you know, hope those two guys get healthy. And then rely heavily, excuse me, upon both Matt Botowski and um, Dougie Hamilton to play heavy, heavy minutes. And, you know, see what happens from there. But that's that's another can of worms. I can the two younger defensemen. You know, one of them isn't even... 20 yet. It's even his second full decade. Um, or actually his third full decade technically, but um, you know, it's just that's something you gotta you gotta watch. And, you know, like I said, I like the Rangers. The forwards have been inconsistent, but I think it's more Tortorella. Um, I think Claude's a better coach than Tortorella. I think Tortorella's, you know, yelling and screaming shtick has gotten old with that team. And that's part of the reason they didn't achieve more in the regular season. I think a lot of the veterans tuned them out. Um, you know, the Cal and Stepan is you know, one that's played phenomenal hockey this year. Um, I think he's a shoe in for Team USA at the at the Olympics, but you know I, I think it's gonna be the Bruins in six games. I think it's gonna be a tough six game series, but I think the Boston Bruins are gonna come out on top and uh, you know keep this run going. Like I said, um, you know they were dead a couple hours ago. You know I was getting ready to do a piece on you know who the Bruins should fire, trade, let walk as free agents, but now it's like okay, we got past the first round, we got out of Game Seven alive. Let's keep this going, and I think that's the mantra in that locker room is, you know, we're the walking dead, and uh, we get nothing to lose, so let's go all in and try to win the whole thing, and I think that's a team that's won before with that mentality is a very dangerous matchup, and um, I think they'll, um, they'll handle the Rangers.
That's on this episode of Power Play with CJ, previewing the Boston Bruins and New York Rangers second round matchup. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.